Hello everyone, my name is Dredden and today we are going to make a wrench. Uh, in Alpha 18, they have reintroduced the ability to make wrenches from a schematic and everything. So I figured I would just hop into it and just do a real quick update on it. Wrench schematic. Where can we find it? You can find it in pretty much only these schematic tools common, but then you can take this here and you can look that up. And you can see it comes up in common books. So any place common books comes up. Uh, also car parts, shipping crate, and that's pretty much it. But common books come up a lot more. So, uh, I mean, it's not like the first thing that comes up, but you will find it pretty often. So we have books no filler, loot container hero crate, and that's that. Um, here you can see that common books is also down here in books, but it's also in books no filler. So once you start getting into finding like books straight up, like you end up finding that it's in junk, lab equipment, brewery safe, shamway safe. It can be from quest, nightstand, uh, POI storage box that looks like the player built one. Okay. <laughs> anyway, books are like super common mailboxes, right? It's like pretty much just almost any old container could have it. And if you wanted to actually just find a, a wrench straight up, then anywhere tools are found, you can just find that. Working stiffs and under sinks are the, my primary go-tos. But I mean, you can go through the same process that I'm going through, just find this loot.xml and just like look through it uh, if you want to save yourself some time. Anyway, real quick to build this thing here is, yeah, you can see that it's locked. So if you want to craft the wrench without having to find the schematic, just go to salvage operations and buy the first level and you'll be able to craft it. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the wrench schematic. And now you can see that it is unlocked. There's no little icon beside it. That means you can craft it in your backpack. So all we're gonna need is 12 iron, four mechanical parts and two duct tape. And so I've got a little bit here queued up. I'm just gonna turn that on. So once you get your forged iron, then you can get that done, which is just a matter of making the forge. I've got a tutorial for that if you want to take a look. Otherwise, it's just a matter of either finding the schematic and buying that up, or you can go over to Advanced Engineering and buy Blacksmith Level 1. So anyway, once we have our iron, uh, we only need 12 of those guys. Oop. There we go. Um, then we can just, you know, whatever, look up to the sky, look down at the ground, whatever you want to do, uh, you can craft that sucker up. Just uh, hit craft, takes two minutes-ish uh, with no skills to do that. And then, yeah, you'll get yourself a wrench. Probably be pretty poor quality until you get better at it, uh, like by buying salvage operations, because that seems to be the one that um, is what dictates how good your wrenches are. You can see here that the wrenches, these are their attributes, and as you go up, they get a little bit more melee damage and damage to everything. Uh, a little bit of extra durability. I guess this wrench here is just sort of because it's randomly assigned, it uh, didn't get many extras, but they start to go up more and more noticeably as you go through the tiers. So when you get to do a level six wrench, they do a lot of extra block damage and um, have a fair bit extra durability. So there you go. That is pretty much that. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed that tutorial and found it useful, hit that like button and share it with some friends. If you are new to the channel and want to continue learning more about Seven Days to Die, hit that subscribe button. And thank you for ringing the bell. It'll keep you notified of any new videos I'm up to. And uh, yeah, I will see you in another video. Bye bye.